The Applegate River Lodge is located in beautiful Applegate, Oregon. The lodge is nestled amongst gorgeous rivers, lush vineyards, and boasts some of the Northwest's most stunning views. Owners Joanna and Richard Davis built the lodge 22 years ago. Richard actually designed the, the lodge and built it. Having that much workload of stress is just unbearable. Once this labor of love was completed, Richard decided it was time to take a break and relax. For 20 years, the couple got divorced, so Richard now lives on site in a hut next to the main lodge. My given name was Richard, but at this stage of my life, I just go by Papa. The Applegate River Lodge, it's been a way of life here for my family for about 22 years. Right now, my duties are making sure that the energy that was given to me to steward is here on the property at all times. And yeah, it's pop. <sighs> Let me grab my guitar. See, where is my guitar? While Richard is looking for his guitar, back on Earth, his ex-wife Joanna is desperately looking for the money to keep the lodge's doors open. We could easily lose anywhere from five to $15,000 a month just because of lack of business. What's going on? See, we got new reservations coming up. What are you doing? I'm just screwing her off. I actually live in my motorhome. I rented my house out. Did you need something? No, I'm just hanging out. I don't see the Applegate River Lodge as a business. Never have, never will. All the pressure of running the lodge falls on Joanna's shoulders. She had high hopes her two sons, Duke and Dusty, would take charge of the business. I just totally fucking disagree with what you're doing. Door Should be none of your concern. There's a big window. You don't have anything to do with this goddamn restaurant. But their constant fighting has gotten in the way. My brother and I have a rocky relationship and uh, led to fist fights and all sorts of arguments. The brothers refuse to work together, so Dusty runs the restaurant and bar as a separate business. I'll, I'll grab you a menu and we can get you something else. With his girlfriend and head chef, Cammy. Way too much olive oil on them, they turn it back. While Duke and his wife, Melissa, use the hotel's lobby as a concert venue, organizing regular music nights. How's everybody feeling tonight? <laughs> Dusty's a lot more into deadlines and numbers and I'm a lot more into feelings and ideas and concepts. A lot of people say there's too much pot smoke and too much music, too much of this and too much of that, too much fun. That's not my take on it. And if that's not enough of a headache for guests trying to sleep, Richard holds after hours jam sessions. What time is it? 111. <laughs> I have had to comp some rooms here at the lodge if it was too noisy for them or they didn't think the room was clean enough. Ew! There's spider webs all feet. over it. Ugh. Ugh. So gross. I've had to cop quite a few rooms. Unsurprisingly, the inn is hemorrhaging money, dragged down by a co-owner who doesn't treat the lodge as a business and two fighting sons. If I can't get this family working together, their business is doomed. This lodge is my life. It's a legacy to carry on through generations. But the family is so dysfunctional that Gordon's just going to say, you know what, I can't fix you guys. We have to save the business. We have to save our family. I think Gordon's our only hope. My first time in Oregon, beautiful countryside. I'm on my way to the Applegate River Lodge. Now, if they've got a lodge here and they're not making a fortune, they must be doing something seriously wrong. That is beautiful. My goodness me. What's that dump? And what's that smell? <laughs> Are you ready to go back to sleep, Troop? Ghastly. Wow. Hello? It is huge. But it's so empty. Where's all the furniture? And where is everybody? Am I too late? Wow. Press the button for the buzz to summon a human with answers. You are kidding me. Just relax. I gotta do exactly what I'm doing. Hello? It's like this place hasn't been finished off inside. Hello? 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 Where are the guests supposed to sit? 
Hey, hey, hello. What are you doing, how, Gordon? How, <laughs> I, I, I thought you'd gone. No, I was uh, just hanging out. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch your first name. Richard. Richard. But around here, they kind of call me Pawbutt. Pawbutt? Pawbutt. Pawbutt. We're just butlings, all of us are in around here. <laughs> Do you normally run front desk? This bell goes to my room. OK. And then when music starts coming, I turn it over. Music? The music program we're going to do tonight. Uh, so there's a music, there's a band playing tonight? Yes. And then we'll probably jam out later okay. in, in the butt hut. What, what is the butt hut? Just help me. Understand. Would you like to see the butt hut? <laughs> uh, I'd love to see the butt hut. <laughs> OK. Yeah, lovely. this is where you run the reception from, the butt hut. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is the butt hut. This is where me and Troopy hang out. <coughs> Get up. Smell. What is that smell? Uh, incense. Smell? They're right here. Incense. Yes, that is a incense. strong fucking incense. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't smell like the smell I've just smelled. Yeah, it's herbs. It's a medicinal herb. I love herbs, especially the freshness of them. You can use it for cooking if you want to do a really nice fettuccine. OK. Was it like uh, a basil? This is, yeah, it's like a basil. Wow. It has a nice smell to it. Fuck me. That's definitely not basil. Is this cannabis? Yes. So we smoke pot. Poof, that's what I could smell the minute I came in here. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Is this legal here? Yes. I use uh, medicinal herb. Before you put your hands back in that cookie jar, do you mind if I see my room? It's uh, get a bit late. Oh, oh. Huh? I'm so, not. I'm, not. It. I'm done for a while. Oh, OK, you're done yeah, for a while. Yeah, I medicated okay. like, you know, So you... how do I get to the room? I'll show you. This is a first. The owner of this lodge is as high as a kite. Wow, look at this place. He probably hasn't even noticed the place has no furniture. This is the cattleman room. Yeah. Cattleman room, thank you. Yeah. It smells like cattle in here. Wow. What happened to the carpet? Did the dog have an accident? You know, we party a lot here, so you're going to have liquor. Who knows what's on these carpets, right? What is that? That's just bugs. Oh, bugs? Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, and a crispy, daddy long leg. That's disgusting. And this is your view out here. No, I didn't notice the view because of the carpet. My God, what a stunning location. It's paradise. It truly is. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, this place is stunning. Shame it's so filthy, Richard. So the bedroom's up here, right? That's right. What in the hell has happened to this carpet? I haven't been up oh, there in a while. There's more stains on this carpet than inside Hugh Hefner's fucking wife rooms. Oh, yeah, I told you, they party in here. No, but Every how? I mean, how many come? Look at this carpet. Every room's got those stains on them, you know? And what about the cover on the bed? When was that from? 1970? You have talked to Joanne about that. Joanne, that's your wife? Ex-wife. Ex oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So she must right. be a business. Well, she should be. Uh, it's not a business to me. Don't ask me finances, because I would be lying if I told you I knew anything. I don't. Let's catch up later. I'm going to pack uh, yeah. my bags. OK, OK. Cool. Uh, thanks for the update. This place is disgusting. Wow. And it's hardly surprising seeing that the owner doesn't see it as a business. I need some fresh air. Fuck. He clearly doesn't care about paying guests. Kids, don't do drugs. You'll end up like that. Fucking useless. I've just arrived at Oregon's Applegate River Lodge. Hello. The hotel lobby has no furniture. It is so bare in here. The rooms are disgusting. It's like a basil. And I've discovered one of the owners is a carefree hippie. This is not a business to me. Richard says his ex-wife is the businesswoman here. I hope she has a better head on her shoulders. Hello. Joanna. Joanna, go on. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. So you're Joanna, who was married to Richard. Yes. Uh, you deserve a medal. <laughs> um, and what do you do? Well, let's see. I check people in. I do the banking. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm the only one in the family that's ever, you know, taken care of the books and made sure that the mortgage payment was paid. And... Why is it all on your shoulders? You just sound like the only one who's actually in control I of this. I am the only one. D I does Richard have a... been the... No, he's never even looked at the checkbook. I'm really tired. I'm getting tired of holding everything up, and it's getting old. Driving through here, those vineyards, the mountains, I mean, yeah. you must be making a fortune. Uh, well, you know, I'm... Well, I owe 990000 on this, and we lose from five dollars to $15,000 a month. This is crazy. Yeah. But how can the business not be in profit? Uh, that's my... I, I don't I, know. That I, I don't understand. No, it, that's, that's what I need you for, I honestly. Having seen the lobby and my bedroom, 
Yeah. I can see why the hotel might be struggling, but surely the restaurant must be making money. With that view on the river like that? Well, the restaurant is run by Dusty, my younger son. OK. And then Duke and his wife run the music end of the business. OK. What percentage of the profits do you get? None. Bloody hell. It sounds nuts. I know it sounds nuts. I'm just crazy. Wow. I mean, look at this place. It's like a missed opportunity beyond belief. I mean, yeah. I... That's what everybody tells me. Everybody says, you've got a gold mine here. And I go, well, so far I haven't found the gold. <laughs> this place is a patch of heaven. So I'm shocked to hear it's not making money. I can't wait to hear why Joanna's sons aren't contributing to the lodge's finances. Nice to see you. First name is? Thank you. Melissa. Melissa, Gordon, yeah. nice to see you too. Well, hello, Pleasure. how are you? Likewise, my pleasure. Good yeah, to see you. Much. Duke, right? Duke, yeah. So this is set up for the concert? Yeah, I run the sound. OK, mixing. Yeah, yeah. OK, great. Yeah. And how much is it to get in? It's 15. $15. $15, yeah. So out of that $15 charge, how much goes to mum? None. None. Well. Wow. Let's, uh, let's... let's have a quick word outside. The place has got a million dollars debt. Yeah, I know, and it's and and, and I've been sitting waiting, and I, I can I can relate. I think I know what's going on here. When was the last time I had a smoke? Way earlier this after the. Twenty minutes ago. No, no, no. This morning. This morning. But definitely it, relieves stress. But it definitely okay. smells of a business that's run by stoners. <laughs> yeah, I know. Duke isn't taking any responsibility for the lodge. <laughs> Hopefully, his brother will have a better excuse for not sharing any profits with his mum. Gordon wants to meet you. Hello. Hello. Dusty. David. Dusty. Uh, lucky Dusty, by the sounds of things. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I would say. Hello. Hi, Camelia. Uh, Camelia, nice. Uh, to the Hi. chef, right? Yes. OK, great. I'm a very hard worker. I think Gordon's going to like me. Uh, so, are you making money here? Yes, sir. How much money do you make a month? Uh, last month, I made about 12,000. Wow. So you make about 150 grand a year? Uh, with everything working right, yeah. And you don't pay a dollar profit to your mother? Profit, excuse me? The business is a million dollars in debt. You make a shitload of money, and your mum gets nothing. I was shocked that Dusty makes that much, and that bothers me because he should help me out financially. Known full well that you stand to inherit this business, there's still not a penny that goes in to reducing debt. And this is your mother. Correct. I've really devoted my life to this place, and to be treated like I don't care about my family and don't care about this business, it really cut to the core. And I have no problem telling him to get the fuck out of here. I'd give you a kick with the ass if that was my son. I don't understand why the boys are just in it for themselves. Why can't the business work as one and everybody pull together? Well, you haven't done a damn thing around here. I work hard here, and I don't see you do fucking thing. Because you can't take any criticism without wanting to punch my fucking lights out. Incredible. Guys. How do you feel about this? Shut the fuck up, both of it's you. It's him. He hates me. Listen. listen what listen. would you like me to do? What would I want to see you grow up and turn into a real man. I want to see you. Oh, like have, you're a fucking real I wanna man. I want to see you be able to go and what, call, what, have what, a big shit Guys, guys, guys. Oh, my God. No wonder this place is on its knees. Fuck you. I'm at Oregon's Applegate Lodge, and I thought the answer for saving this place was for everyone to work together. You can't take any criticism without wanting to punch my fucking lights out. But the boys can't even talk to each other. This guy tells me he Listen won't even be me. my fucking brother. Unless I it's clearly not just the lodge that's falling apart. Fuck you. My God. People have heard about my visit, and both the hotel and restaurant are booked for the night. And right this way, guys. I feel sorry for all of them. Hi there. Come on over here. I'll check you in. How are you folks doing tonight? Okay. And I'm sorry about the furniture in the lobby. They haven't got any. <laughs> Please take a seat on the stairs. The guests don't look impressed with the hotel, and neither do the customers in the restaurant. But at least they've got furniture to sit on. Bruschetta here, guys. Oh, shit. That's right. Bruschetta here for you guys. Oh, man. OK, fire up. You got your tri-tip. I'm not looking forward to going to the dinner service with Gordon. Um, the interaction I had with him beforehand, I just know it's going to be a nightmare. Are we OK with that? The soup was pretty cold and I didn't have any salt. And then it's, it's, no, it's, it's just water and potatoes. My apologies. Potatoes here. That is firing off, guys. And we got cream horseradish coming around, guys. The uh, dog at the table, is that normal, huh? 
The dog, does he sit there like that in front of customers? Yes, sir. Some are requesting to stay. Some call him over. Yes. Some customers call the dog over? Oh, yes, of course. The food's that bad. While I'm trying to figure out what's wrong in the restaurant, guests in the hotel are enjoying the unique charm of the Applegate Lodge. You're the goober of some kind here. <laughs> you know, look at this. You got your dry cleaner hangers? I just don't know about the bear, though. I mean, that's kind of... Oh, my gosh. Where's the TV? I hope the restaurant's better than the rooms. <laughs> Kim, I need that thousand island that goes with this one here. Um, we got ketchup. OK, we're adding ketchup to a ranch, and that'll be a, a thousand right here. OK. okay. What was, was that ketchup in the salad? Yeah. What for? For the Thousand Island. Fucking hell. I can't believe this restaurant is making money. The guests must be coming for the view, because the food is dreadful. This is grilled salmon with pepper, but it tastes like you literally just sprinkled it with sugar. The salmon is frozen. I'll, I'll be more than happy to... I'll just take that off your dinner. Is it? Certainly. I can't stand to watch another minute of this. Thank goodness dinner service is almost over, because this place is a joke. Oh, dear. Got two minutes? I'm embarrassed. I'm amazed you're still open. There's no fucking standards in here. I don't believe that there's no standards. You've got a river running outside your patio with salmon in it, and you're serving frozen salmon. Where's the standard, then? What we do here is not shit. You may be able to manipulate your mother, but you are not going to pull the wool over my eyes. Because you're playing at running a restaurant that's been given to you. You haven't actually worked for this, have you? You grew up here, so, hey, Mum, I want to be a restaurateur this week. Without your mother in this lodge, you're fucked. It's nearly 10 o'clock, when many hotel guests will be thinking of heading to bed. But the music concert is just about to start. We've been doing this for 20 years, we've been playing music. I think Gordon's going to like it. I don't do drugs, so I never thought I'd see a dancing mushroom, but I was wrong. I recognize the smell. It's like the summer of love. These people are weird, but they sure are friendly. There we go, excellent. Nice to see you, I love you too. Is this a dream? Is this really happening? So, are you checking in? I'm so sorry. Welcome to the fucking madhouse. Your room is uh, up these log stairs right behind you here. It's insane how guests are trying to check in over this racket. If I had arrived to this, I would have gotten on the first plane back home. I don't think I'll be able to relax here. I can't really escape the sound. Wow. And the longer the music goes on, the more guests complain. I can't hear anything. You guys want to come back here? You know what? It's on me tonight, OK? Well, we're going to make you happy no matter what. OK? okay? All, right. All right. With Joanna giving away okay. rooms for free, the lodge is losing money, pushing this hotel further into debt. And thank you guys so much for being a part of this. How about it one more time for Polyrhythmics? It's way past midnight, and with the band finally wrapping up, it's time for me to get some sleep. Before I dive under those covers, I'm dying to see what's on top of them. That is disgusting. I am not putting my head on that pillow. Ah, oh, I just touched that. It's like a mosaic of semen. Look at that. Oh, disgusting. Oh, look at the lampshade. Look at that. How can they charge money for people to sleep in this filth? Wow. This is definitely a night for my sleeping bag. Right, lights out. Oh, come on. It's like trying to sleep above a nightclub. Right? Fuck. I'm going to jump out the window. This is crazy. 
It's my first night at Oregon's Applegate Lodge, and there's no way I can sleep over this dreadful noise. I've had enough. Hey, Gordon. I'll be there. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get the sleep over there. Have you got two seconds? Yeah. Jeff, thank you. This is insane. Oh, my God. Thank you. Um, how on earth is anyone supposed to sleep with that racket? C can you get the family together? Yeah? Yeah. And do we just have a... A meeting together. Holy shit. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. I've never seen anything quite as shoddy as I've experienced today, and I, I, I'm, I'm wondering why this place is still open. How much money did we make tonight? How much money did you make? About 1,500 bucks. 1,500. How much money did you make tonight? Uh, a couple hundred. A couple of hundred. About 500. But with all the noise complaints, Joanna had to comp three rooms. Isn't that right? Absolutely. You two make a profit, but your mother loses money. It does not make sense. Nobody said we were sensible people. Oh, we're just blessed people. Having a million dollars in debt is not blessed. First of all, you don't understand what you're talking about. You're talking business. Mm -hmm. You're a businessman. Where's, where's the business? I'm, I'm not a businessman, and I don't try to teach you people to be business people. It's, this is our home. No one knows the difference between a hotel and a home. And does anyone else know how much stress and pressure you're under? Um, you know, I do what I have to do to, to keep the doors open, you know? Can we just quit talking about money? Richard, why can't it be financially secure so that both we of the kids... We are financially no, secure. No, Richard, we are not. Well, you can laugh at this and laugh at that, and we just want to make everybody happy, man. Listen, it ain't an issue with me. You're refusing to look at the issue because you and your sons are taking advantage of Joanna. No, it's not an issue. So why are you talking so I'm, much bullshit? It's not bullshit. It's yes, straight it up. It's straight Everything out. you say to me, I'm just ignore. I'm going to knock him on his ass. But you, you think, think I else? care what you think about me? Richard. Why don't you go have your yeah. cigarette? I'll go have my cigarette, yeah. relax a little bit, yeah. and we'll come back and then discuss this. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not going to argue with your father. I'm just going to call it as I see it. This lodge needs to be run by a business. And when I listen to your mum stressing out about payments, and you two going off, running your own little businesses, because you two are button heads. It's a fucking disgrace. This shit has to stop. Because right now, this lady's suffering. Yet your heads are so far in the fucking sand that no one can actually see the damage you're causing. My worst nightmare is that Duke and Dusty never can get on the right page and and I'm stuck till I'm 90 years old trying to run this place, and then I die, and it's gone. I'm not a miracle worker. If you want this place to survive, you need to come together as a family and run this place as a proper family business. It is way past everybody's bedtime. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <sighs> this place is insane. I mean... I've never seen such a badly run lodge in all my life, and the one person I feel sorry for is Joanna. Everybody else, they think it's a big joke. Well, I tell you what, I'm not fucking laughing. Oh, With all the partying going on at this lodge, I hardly got a wink of sleep. I don't want to stand on that carpet. This lodge is in a dreadful state, and I think everyone's blind to it. That has to change. Come on in. You OK, my darling? Yeah. Uh, there's something I want you to understand, because I think you're the only one who can actually appreciate yep. some things that's been going on here. Yeah? Yeah. Will you come up with me? What he might be showing me next, I don't know how much <laughs> worse it could get. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for coming. This is Joanna. She is the owner. Um, these are esteemed guests that have been staying in your lodge. I need to hear the truth, and so does Joanna. 
Let's start off with you, madam, please. Um, me and my boyfriend stayed here a few days ago. Both of us weren't really pleased. We were all the way in the Myrtle Suite, so we were the closest to the bar, and we could hear it like we were next to it. Uh, my apologies. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, madam, sir. We got the honeymoon suite, and the bathroom wasn't clean, so we, you know, I cleaned it, and it just kind of grossed us out. The fact you had to clean the room before you tried to relax, it's insane. <sighs> madam, please. We got into bed and felt something. I pulled it up with my foot, and it was a pair of underwear, dirty underwear. Oh, my God. As she... I'm mortified. That is completely unacceptable. Did you have any interactions with Richard? Richard invited us to the back room. What, in the, like, the butt hut? Yes. To do what? There was Can't marijuana stop. in the back. He offered, which we did not partake. Taking guests into the butt room and off them it's marijuana. It. It's not a hippie commune, it's a, it's a lodge. I know. I thank you for your time. The guest feedback has hit Joanna hard, and now she's asked to speak to me alone. Come on in. You okay, my darling? Oh, I wanted to show you this book. It's the building of the lodge and kind of see what we went through. Oh, wow. From the I, beginning? From the beginning, yeah. Wow. We built it with our hands. We felled the trees, we hand peeled the poles, we, we did it all. And it's, it's an amazing story how we pulled this together. I think if you understand the struggle that we went through to get it to this place, you understand why I'm so fired up about yeah. keeping it and, and having it run wow. top notch. And this is, this is sort of ground zero, this is where yep, it all started. Yep, ground zero, yeah. That's, that's the butt head, actually. Seriously, yeah. that's incredible. And the kids, you know, they were all here. We grew up here, they're, they're, they're attached to it. It means so much to them. Now, I understand. I mean, it's clearly your, your little paradise, but I don't think it's been paradise for guests. But that's all going to change. Yep. Wow, look at that. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. That was my dream, and I think that could still happen. It is going to happen, please. <laughs> Let's go and do this. Okay. okay. You back. I'll see you shortly. Okay. Thank you for that. Sure. Now I can see why Joanna loves this lodge so much. And I know that to save this place, I need to get her sons talking again. Clearly their dad's not going to make that happen. <laughs> He's too busy doing nothing. Come in a minute. So I've got to find a way to get these brothers on the same page. So can you guys get this thing settled once and for all? I can't talk to him, though, and have him not want to punch me. OK? I've been being bullied my whole life, Gordon. What are you talking about? You, you, you really think that you haven't done anything No, no, to me? What, what have I Tell me. Tell me what I've done. Tell me what and I've I... said to you that hurts you so bad, because you've said so many things to me. You've resented me. You've told me I'm a punk. You said I'm a white trash tweaker. You're living like one. I'm ashamed that you're my brother. That's a serious statement. Shit. Come on. This is horrifying. You know, go ahead. Just leave. No. Get the fuck off this property. Did you guys get along ever? Was there ever a time? Shit. This is horrifying. No, go ahead. Just leave. No. Did you guys get along ever? Get the fuck off this Was property. Was there ever a time? When is somebody going to say, fuck it, this isn't about my big brother, my little brother. This is about my mum. The hatred has to stop. I agree. The hatred has to stop. Yeah. If we don't figure this out, we're going to lose the lodge. I don't want that at all. I, Dusty, why have we let this go on for so long? And I love you, and I, and I don't want to see you hurt ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been such a long road with Duke. That, you know, I've just been been praying every day for something to change because it, it taxes my mother so much. I am so relieved to hear that from both of you. You okay? Yeah. Now that Duke and Dusty have seen the pain they've caused their mother, I believe they're going to be willing to put their issues aside to save this piece of paradise. This lodge has so much potential in this beautiful setting. It's somewhere I'd love to bring my wife and four kids for a vacation. It would be a tragedy if Joanna and her family lost it. <sighs> what an absolutely beautiful place to go for a swim. But there's still one problem I need to tackle. 
to make sure this lodge has a future it deserves. It's time to talk business. Take a seat. Um, Richard, there's a business meeting. OK. You're not really involved running the business. Right. right. OK? And I think you need to let these guys deal with the business. Yeah. So I would ask you to disappear. Okay. You're a nice guy. Yeah. You're not going to change. And do you know what? I don't think your family want you to change. I know. They love you yeah. as you are. Yes. OK, so I want you to have a, a relaxed afternoon. Cool. Thank you. That's why you're here. Well, I appreciate I've it. I've been talking years. You take care. <laughs> OK. Uh, OK, see you, Dad. Thank you, see Richard. You. Right now, it's not your time, young man, and it's not your time. Do you know whose time it is? That's right. That's right. And she's at the helm. But she can't do it without you. That's right. All the personal shit, you leave when you walk through that door because it's about business now. Yeah, we've never had that. You have the possibility of turning this around. Joanna, what have you got to say? I just really need you guys both. You know, I tried for many years to do this on my own, but you know what? It's time maybe you guys help out a little more. Let's get this thing going, man. Let's roll. You realize how freaking lucky we are to have this place? Boys? Are both of you committed to working together and getting this place turned around? Yeah. No I minute mean, if you're in it. Absolutely, man. As, as businessmen and then brothers, yep. once we figure this out, we'll work the other shit out. <laughs> but we gotta be here for a while, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Love you. And... Big guy. It just warms my heart to watch the boys embrace and, and to, to see that. They really want to, to work together and to help grow this place again. It feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders right now. And, and now that we're actually on some sort of a, a page together, I think we can, we can really start going somewhere with it. I am just, like, stoked. <laughs> These are tears of joy, not sorrow. Thank God. There's a lot more changes coming tomorrow. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. I thought Gordon was coming here to fix the, the lodge, but he ended up fixing our family, which is amazing. Thank you. Thank I'll you. see you later. OK. Coming up, welcome to the new Applegate River Lodge. I can't believe it. <laughs> welcome to the new Applegate River Lodge. From this day forward, we will run this as one business. Yes, there's a restaurant. Yes, it's a music venue, but they are all part of the lodge business, and they contribute to the overall lodge finances. Understood? Understood. Good. I cannot wait for you to see through those doors. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, my god. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes. Wow. Woo. This looks like a lodge. Wow. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> when I first got here, I had to sit on the floor. Oh, so now your guests will feel warm and very welcomed. Yes, absolutely. Wow. The lobby actually feels like a lobby now. The leather couch is incredible and the rocking chairs. I mean, people can come down in the morning, have a cup of coffee, they can sit down. It's amazing. Is it gorgeous? It's beautiful, yeah. I love it. Come over to the reception desk. There's something else I want to show you. Here is the magic. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I yeah. have given you a stunning brand new hotel management POS, point oh, of sale yeah. system. So now your guests can check in online. Wow. It works in here. It works in the restaurants, and it's going to tap in to your music as well. Perfect. I love it. That system is going to really change everything we do here. Gordon has just, he's synced everything up and made this one business. It's really what this place has needed for so long. Now, would you like to see my room? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Go straight through. Oh. Oh, cute. Look at this. Wonderful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, it smells so good in here, too. I love wow. it. Wow. So the room is fresh. It's vibrant. It's warm. And I've had all the carpets cleaned, so there are no more stains. Ooh, nice. I oh. it. My curtains are gone. My 16-year-old oh. curtains. Oh, <laughs> it's nice. Is it beautiful? Wow. Way nice. The disgusting bedwear, all gone. And with the blinds, guests no longer need to stare down at Richard's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> butthole. <laughs> butthole. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
The cabin room looks like a really classy place now. I mean, the bed, the, the furnishings, the lamps, it's, it's not all that funky stuff I had in there for years. <laughs> oh, I love it. Stunning. One last thing I'd like to show you at the restaurant. Are you ready? Yep. Yep, let's go. We've got some exciting things happening there. Oh, my. Welcome to the new Applegate River Lodge a menu. The menu's small, the menu's dynamic, and the better the ingredients, the less that needs doing to them. Let's start off with the top, shall we? Half a roasted chicken and a lovely sage lemon butter sauce. Next to that, the wild king salmon with citronelle and grilled lemon. And then finally, 12 ounce New York strip. Stunning. I like it. It's simple, but it's, it's yep. perfect. Now, sit down and enjoy. Oh, my God. It's steak. Oh, yeah. Wow. You can just taste the freshness. It's really good. It's a night and day. I love this menu because it's us. Have we ever had dinner all together? It really hasn't happened. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up. Richard, you will not believe what I've done with your butt hut. Oh, oh my shit. God. With the Davis family ready to work together and the stunning new changes to the lodge, I've got one more surprise for the family that will take this hotel to a whole new level. This one you're going to love. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> wow. Now, this is everything you need to put on a mini music festival for your guests. Oh, wonderful. Hell, I can't believe it. <laughs> now, here's the exciting news. All of a sudden, <laughs> the lodge has four extra bedrooms. No way. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's too good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Coupled with a new outdoor grill so the guests can enjoy nice. a phenomenal barbecue lunch while they enjoy the show. Now, the music business, the lodge, the restaurant will work together. And all the elements of the business will be making money to help pay down the debt and keep this place open for decades to come. I'm completely excited and ready to start doing music outdoors. And I think it's really going to be a great way for the lodge and the restaurant and the music to unite. Wow. Perfect. Now, Richard, you will not believe what I've done with your butt hut. You ready? Oh, Come and see. God. Come and see. <laughs> Only joking. I haven't touched that thing in there. <laughs> oh, I was, you don't want to go in there. <laughs> It's time for the new and improved Applegate Lodge to open to the public. Four yeah. course later, yes. While Dusty and Cammy deal with the meals, Duke and Melissa handle the entertainment. With their combined effort, much needed revenue is coming into the lodge. And with the music on the outdoor stage, the entertainment is far enough away for guests to enjoy their rooms. Quiet. Feels like we're away from everything. Now that the relaunch is a success, I've got to hit the road. Gordon. It's time for to say goodbye. It's been a slice of heaven. A little slice of heaven. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. But please do not offer any more guests some of those special herbs. Already. You built this place. Right. Now let them have it. Or gladly. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Of. It's been an absolute pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay, right. Boys, my time is done. Look after each other. Okay. And forget the past. Work with your brother and take some weight off your mother's shoulders. Yeah? yeah. And this place is going to roll. Thank you so okay. much, Gordon. If Gordon didn't come, we'd, we'd be in the same stagnant environment with uh, no love and a lot of anger. Those boys need to know who's boss. They will. Uh, good luck. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. There's just no words that can express how grateful I feel for this awesome, amazing experience. Good night, darling. Bye-bye. I'll be sad to leave this place. But I will not be sorry to see the back of Richard's butthole. Butthole, butthole. <laughs> Since my visit to the Applegate River Lodge, Dusty and Duke continue to get along. And they're helping Joanna get income for the lodge to reduce their debt. If you want to get all the trash, I'll get all the dishes. Uh, OK. This family-run hotel is finally running smoothly. I feel like this is the first step to taking the lodge into a destination resort, which is what it needs to be. We should spend more time together as a family, you know? Yeah. Gordon has given us a, an opportunity of a lifetime, and we're not going to let him down. I want to thank Gordon for having the love in his heart to come here and put my family back together. That's what I want. Love you. Love you, too.
The Hotel Chester is located in Starkville, Mississippi, home to the Mississippi State University. Husband and wife, David and Suki Mollendor, bought the hotel in 2000. Before buying the Chester, David traveled the world as a hotel troubleshooter. Well, I've worked in the hotel industry 39 years. Thank you for calling Hotel Chester. Wanted to try and settle down and give our kids one stable place to be. Oh. One of us got to get taller. <laughs> to begin with, a 36-bedroom hotel was a real success, packed with students and locals. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> then a sudden tragedy hit the family. David was coming home and was uh, involved in a, a major auto accident. We thought we lost him. That changed all of us overnight. He crushed his feet and was bedridden for almost six months. It's a little dated. The report is very dated. In David's absence, standards dropped and customers stopped coming. Well, we were losing so much money that I had to file for bankruptcy. The financial losses have been so bad, the bank foreclosed on their home. So now they're living in the hotel. Living in the hotel, working together in the hotel. I feel tired and I feel uh, out of sync with the world. They couldn't afford payroll. So Suki left her job in real estate and took over as chef and temporary manager. It was my idea that we open a sushi restaurant. Never worked in any restaurant kitchens before in my entire life. But I knew how to make the sushi. My mom was confused. But despite her best intentions, with no formal training, oh. she's struggling. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, where's my knife? Suki spends all her time in the hotel, so she's blind to the tens of thousands of students and tourists who could be potential customers. And the hotel's bedrooms and dining room are empty most nights. I just need those entrees. Yeah, but I guess they're coming. You know, I see it in my parents' eyes. I see that they're physically exhausted, that they're mentally drained. My mom, she used to be lively, vibrant. She's honestly half the woman she used to be. Man, I forget. I'm losing my mind. When I came to this place, I was 180 pounds of twisted blue steel, sex appeal, and mucho hell. And this old bitch has worn me down to 200 pounds of flab, gab, and total no mas. With almost no money coming into the hotel, David and Suki are hanging on by a very thin thread. I need Gordon to help my parents because if this hotel doesn't change, it's we lose everything. This is it. I'm in Starkville, Mississippi's college town. I'm on my way to the Hotel Chester, Mississippi State University, founded in 1878. Any hotel with a college on their doorstep should be absolutely thriving, not just for the students, but with their parents as well. I can't wait to check into the Hotel Chester. Where is this place? I can't even see the sign. Got to know where it is. How are you? I'm looking for the Hotel Chester. I've never been there before. You've yeah, never been there? It's one no, I'm fine. I've gone around three times. It's easy to miss. <laughs> easy to miss. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't see any signs. Well, there may be one sign, but yeah, I mean, it's not, right. it's not too big. Man. Okay, great. <laughs> Bring on glass. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy. The students never go to the Chester, despite the fact that it's right next to the campus. Weird. There we are there, historic Hotel Chester entrance well. Such a huge building and such a tiny sign. It's madness. Finally. Morning, sir. Hey, good How are morning. You? How are you? Good to see you, Gordon. Good to see you, and I'm David Gordon. David, nice to see you. Well, I finally found the place. That is so confusing there, you know that. There's no sign on Main Street. I drove straight by. And see him on the corner of the building? A tiny sign saying it's historic. That, that's what's historic about oh, it. That's, it's, that's, that's historically been a bad entrance. Now we have you in an executive king room. And then here's two keys for you, because I'm giving you two because men don't follow instructions as well as women. Okay. Or in case you get lucky, hell yes. <laughs> 
So you're a hands-on owner. Uh, you run the desk all by yourself? My wife is the chef. She's taught herself. You can meet lady? Well, can I finish my spiel? I thought we'd already finished. So, uh, breakfast is included. We do have fresh cut fruit. That's nice to know, fresh cut fruit. We, what uh, would be the alternative? Canned? No. Uh, no fruit, I think. Oh. Be <laughs> I love your sense of humor. <laughs> it's dry and very funny. Fresh cut fruit for breakfast. Yes, sir. Nice. Now, I just want you to know I'm not always at the desk. OK. But you'll be able to recognize me even if I'm walking away from you, because I'm the one who looks like he's riding a chicken. Riding a chicken? Yeah. I've never ridden a chicken. You have to show me. Oh. Well, you just have to look at my legs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get Suki, OK? OK, great. That poor chicken. OK, now. I've got a guest that wants to meet you. Oh, okay. uh oh, what do you do with that? I am making tamago. Gordon is here to help us out, and I'm terrified, but at the same time, I, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. And don't worry, I've had worse than wet hands. Nice to meet you. I washed my hands. Uh, that's very kind. Thank you for that. Uh uh, and Thank you. Suki, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. <laughs> What's it like working with your wife? I love my wife, so it's mm -hmm. nice to be around her until she gets her nose out of joint. She has a chef's temperament. If okay. you're not familiar with it, right, they, well. they can fly off the handle pretty easy. What's your background? I'm a hotel guy. I was in Vietnam and I went to so hotel, hotel school. So you qualified uh, as a hotelier? Well, so, in my view, yeah. Well, that's great. That's good, good to hear. Graduated with a major in hotel and restaurant management and have been in the business almost 40 years. So, in a nutshell, what's wrong with a hotel? That's a question. We're not sure. We don't think it's a quality issue, uh, neither for our rooms or our food and, and beverage. Why don't you both show me to the room? OK. I've been a general manager of a lot of hotels. I eventually became a turnaround guy to take on problem properties. So my big surprise here is that I'm having a hell of a time trying to turn this thing around. We just call it an executive okay. king. Oh, dear. OK. This is it. Yes, sir. What is that, swing? It's uh, leather, but it's a uh, rough leather and very difficult to clean. It's so bland. I mean, it's like a cheap motel chain. I feel like I'm in the witness protection program. This is depressing here. So when was the last time the roof was touched? 2003. 2003, so 10 years ago. Yeah. It feels like something out of the 1970s. Our hotel rooms are dated, you know, we try to call it period furniture. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It always tells you that a place is on the decline when you walk in, you've got walls that are a mess, scuffs everywhere, and big marks on the sofas that you're expected to pay good money to sit down in. So far, I'm not digging it. I'm going to unpack, and then like to come down and um, have a bite to eat. Suki, so what's your experience in the kitchen? My father had a sushi restaurant in Washington, D.C. Parents of a Japanese yes. restaurant? Had. My did you father grow up in the passed kitchen? away. Of course. But did you work in the kitchen? No, just washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm going to unpack. Thank you. Okay, hey. Yeah. Thank Good to see you, you. likewise. Yes, and nice I'll pop down and have a bite you. to eat. Okay. okay? Thank you. So, you know, I feel like the guy who walked into a bar with a big frog on his head, went up to the bar and asked the bartender for a drink. And the bartender said, man, I tell you, you got a problem, don't you? And the frog said, yeah, I'll I sure later, do. Babe. Can you cut this ward off my ass? <laughs> and God, can that man talk? Bars and restaurants in a vibrant college town like this are always packed at lunchtime. But this place is dead. I'm Lindsay. How are you? Good. There you go. Let me get you something to drink. Do you have some ice cold water? OK. Please. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my darling. Um, what would you recommend? Strawberry field sushi is uh, very popular. It's a little bit sweeter. I'll try it. Las Vegas as an appetizer as well. And then, oh, the Sakura. Five individual rolls rolled into one. I don't know how you execute all that Japanese food on that menu when you're not trained. It doesn't quite make sense. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. There's not a lot of people in Starkville that like our sushi. It's a little bit different from what other places in Starkville have. Oh. God, that's slow. 
Suki runs her kitchen the way she wants to. It always takes too long in between tickets, but there was really nothing I could do about it. This food is taking way too long. I've been waiting over an hour for raw fish. Oh, my God. I can't take this anymore. Oh, God. Damn it. I'm at Starkville, Mississippi's Hotel Chester, and I've been waiting for my lunch for a very long time. Damn it. Jeez. <laughs> I nodded off there. My God. Does the sushi usually take this long? Yes, sir. What is this one? Las Vegas. Ooh, oh, my God. Salmon, cream, cream cheese, and asparagus, and then it's deep fried and uh, comes with a jalapenos. Fried salmon with cream cheese. Disgusting. What a strange combination. Very weird. It doesn't work for me, that one. I mean, it's just um, greasy. We um, can get this out of the way. Uh, as quick as possible. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. This is dreadful. My first impressions of the food here is that it's as bad as the rooms. Sakura. Sakura. And there's cream cheese in the middle. Look at that thing. So it's pretty big, right? So how are you supposed to get it in your mouth? I've never eaten it before. Let's try. Come on. Me? We're in this together. Oh, no, you ordered this one all on your own. That's yours. You sure there? Ready? Open wide, please. Wait, there is no way this is gonna fit my mouth. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Uh-uh, I can't do it. Now I know how my granddad feels when he puts his new teeth in. <laughs> Can uh, I throw uh, it away now? Yeah. So you took one little bite? I did. Damn, disaster. Total disaster. How did it taste, by the way? I'm very good. The Sakura is very chewy. Suki does try her best, but she has no idea what she's doing. What's wrong with the Sakura? Bland, ugly, chewy, strange combination. Chewy. Yep. And impossible to put in your mouth. Let me tell you about my sushi. I'm not a Morimoto or Nobu. Absolutely not. I'm doing my best, and I respect rice. What is this one? Strawberry field. Now look at that. Strawberry on sushi. I'm behalf of every Japanese chef in America, I'd like to apologize. It's very weird. Which part is so just, you just weird? You, you wouldn't cover white tuna with strawberries and then glaze it. Strawberry fields. I'd rather fucking eat a beetle. It's too sweet. Strawberries don't belong with tuna. I am frustrated that Gordon does not like uh, my sushi. I've tried all I can. How you doing, honey bun? Uh, he doesn't like any. He doesn't like any of it. No. <laughs> so, truthfully, what is wrong with this place? Lack of business. So on an average weekend, how many guests would you do? On a busy weekend, maybe 12 people. Are they in-house guests, hotel Usually. guests? Usually. So virtually nobody from the outside? Correct. Jesus. Anyway, where are the owners? Can you uh, tell me where they are? Sure. Thank you. They've got just 36 bedrooms, yet on a busy night, just 12 guests eat here. With food that bad, I'm not surprised. Congratulations on the longest lunch I've ever had in my entire cooking career. That was 97 minutes. Yeah, and half of it was raw. As a novice cook, why are you making sushi? It's crazy. I'm trying my best to, to at least introduce Mississippi Let's eat a little bit healthier. There's nothing healthier with my lunch. Maybe a health warning. Surely you should be giving the locals what they want to eat. That's why they come. Well, no, no, talking no. to Lindsay, the only customers we get now are the ones staying in the hotel, which is practically no one. The business is on his ass. And how much debt are you in? Over $900,000. $900,000. Right. We are in debt. Please don't say you don't know. Shit. 
So far, Starkville, Mississippi's Hotel Chester has been a massive letdown. Hotel Chester entrance, well. Such a huge building and such a tiny sign. The dated Solar's rooms are awful. It's like a cheap motel chain. Strawberry on sushi. The sushi is the worst I've ever had. Wow. It's hideous. And David, the co-owner, has just admitted to me and to his wife that they're almost a million dollars in debt. $900,000. Right. We are in debt. Please don't say you don't know. I'm deeply sorry, and I'm, I'm sad that you're upset. I'm not upset at you. David should not have been hiding the financial status from me. Finding out she's been kept in the dark has angered Suki. Hey, I, I don't know what we are doing. I do the spending side and you do the paying side. I don't share the finances with Suki. This is getting ridiculous. Because I'm afraid of hurting Suki's feelings. Calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. While the owners argue, guests who have heard about my visit are arriving at the Chester. For dinner, I'm just going to go to the restaurant, which is just straight shoot right back there, all right? Okay. And tonight, the restaurant and hotel will be full of people for the first time in years. I feel sorry for all of them. How long have you been waiting? I would say at least 45 minutes. 45 minutes. My apologies. How long have you been waiting? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we've been here over in about an hour. An hour. So, I'm sorry. I've never seen anything like this before. It's insane how long these guests are waiting. So, what table is this, Suki? Oh, pardon me, I'm sorry. No, I just asked what table are you doing? The very first table. The very first table. It's been well over an hour, and Suki is only working on the first table. She's really struggling, and yet Dave is not stepping in to lend a hand. So, you know, over an hour in the service. Would you go in and help her? I would, but, you know, that's just not my territory. Right. Unfortunately. It's like the hotel's falling apart around you. If someone needs you in the kitchen, in the bar, the reception, shouldn't you be multitasking? The uh, kitchen is her territory. OK, well, so, I'm just asking. It's your no, hotel. I, I know, and I appreciate that. Yeah. If the kitchen's not David's territory, then maybe the rooms are. It's like wow, touch the blinds, so and there's like That's a... dust all over them. Yeah, there's kind of a beat-up family. Mm. Looks like it came out of someone's house when they died. This is definitely not supposed to <laughs> hang out. It seems to me that David has checked out. I don't understand what's going on here. This is not good. Suki okay. is totally out of her depth, having only dealt with one of the eight tables waiting for food. Oh, no. This is awful. Wow. What's wrong, darling? They said it wasn't cooked. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. Yeah, it needs more cooking. Mom, what's wrong? It's not cooked. You OK? I don't even want to get her in trouble. Why is she bursting into tears? You okay? I'm fine. What, the, the, help me understand. What's going on? No, I just... The fish is undercooked in the centre. I know, I know. I just, I don't... Just, don't what? Um... What is it that I'm missing, the point? I don't understand why she's in there, plain head chef. Because we don't have anyone else. I mean, she became chef when my dad was in a car accident in 2008. He was bedridden for about six months, and then mom moved in to run the hotel the next day. My mom became a chef overnight. She came to the hotel, saw where she thought she was needed, and jumped in the kitchen. And ever since, she's been trying to make it work. And so how long has it been functioning like this? I mean, I think it's been in this state for about uh, two or three years. My dad has taken a step back and given up a little bit. OK. We have to be strong. Get some fresh air. Get your eyes nice and bright, OK? okay? <laughs> Finally, I get it. The Hotel Chester has been in a tailspin since David's car accident. I wish Suki or David had told me. Wow. The beer garden. Interesting. Suki is just trying to make this work as best she can, but she is failing miserably. And David has hotel knowledge, but since the accident, he has taken a back seat. This whole place feels lost. The owners, the restaurant, the bedrooms, even this garden feels abandoned, just like the dinner guests. The customers are getting so pissed off. I'm going to have to do something, otherwise this place is going to go crazy. The Hotel Chester in Starkville, Mississippi, is on the brink of financial disaster, and I finally found out why. 
My dad was in a car accident in 2008. David's car accident sent the hotel into a sharp decline. Oh, no. Suki is drowning in the kitchen, trying to keep the business afloat. Wait, how long have you been waiting? I would say at least 45 minutes. I mean, we've been here over in about an hour. While her husband, David, isn't taking the reins, I can't see the diner starve, so I've dashed over to the local supermarket. The least I can do to help poor Suki is to cook up a few sliders before the customers walk out. Those diners gonna get any food, trust me. Tonight, it's coming from me. That's ridiculous in there. An hour for appetizers, crazy. So sorry about the delay. There's a little uh, beef slider from the barbecue in the garden. I don't want you guys walking away. Everybody got some food now? Yes. Feel a little bit better? The burgers have brought Suki enough time to get through the rest of dinner service without anyone walking out. After a long three hours, everyone has finally been fed. I'm sure Suki is as relieved as me that dinner service is over. How are you, Suki? Fine, fine. fine? Yes. That was a tough one. It was very tough. Yeah? Yes, sir. Why don't you guys get out of here, you go home, let's hook up first thing tomorrow morning. How far is home away from here? This is our home now, that room. What do you mean this is your home? We live here. You live on site? Yes. You have an apartment here? No, right in there, there's a the handicap room. That's our, that's our home now. You live in the handicap room? Yes. Can you show me? Since Dave's accident, I gave up everything. We have no money, so we had no choice but to live in this room. You live in here? Yes. There's not even a fucking window. No. Suki, I had no idea things were this bad. Well, I have to do what you have to do. I'm so sorry. Well, you know, sometimes you have the bad times. Could you get David? OK. Please? I don't know what else to do. We have two children. I would like for them to be, um, not to have to worry about their mom and dad. OK. So. You were running this hotel. This was your baby. That's right. David? Yes. And sadly, you got involved in a tragic car accident. Yes. What happened? Yes. I, I broke both of my ankles and my yeah. back in two places. We nearly lost him. I mean, you know, I was pretty busted up, so I've been spending most of the past five years just recovering. Why did you sell your house? We couldn't make the payment, and... You foreclosed? Yes. That's terrible. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. And you come home every night now into this bedroom. Uh-huh. This is awful. It is no way to live. I think you deserve something better. I promise I'm going to help you fix this place. OK? Yes, sir. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Will you get some rest, please? Sometimes I will go seven days without stepping out of the hotel. And it's, uh, it's sad. I can't believe David and Suki have been living like this for years. I've never wanted to help two people so badly. I just hope I'm not too late. Rough night's sleep. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about David and Zuki downstairs where they are almost cooped up in that tiny room with no windows. I mean, my sleep was rough, but Christ, can you imagine going through that for three years? Like they've been doing. God. <sighs> David and Suki have sunk so far, they have lost sight of the outside world. If they lose this hotel, then they lose everything. Wow. I need to show them the potential of this place before it's too late. Like a sink. Come on. This is ridiculous. I can't even get my feet wet. David and Suki need to see how to make the Hotel Chester a success. I've got a plan. You've let this business swallow the both of you up. Yeah. It is like quicksand. You know, you've lost your way. Not only have you lost the connection with each other, but you lost the connection out there. Out there. The town, the students, the community. Both of you, come with me. I've got something to show you. They can save the life of your hotel. 
in the car, please. When was the last time you two went out for lunch? I can't, I can't remember. remember. You've never been out for lunch together? No. No. Wow. I want to show David and Suki a couple of places that are extremely successful because they tap in to what the community wants. Thank you, Dan. Oh, wow. Uh, lunch, are you always this busy? It's usually busier, actually. On an average weekend, uh, for instance, um, in the middle of summer, how many covers do you do? <laughs> Hundreds and thousands, probably. I mean, it gets so slam-packed. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank, Thank you, sweet. Can you believe a thousand people a day here? Mm. A day. Envious. Good, honest. Yeah. Mississippian food. I just want 10%. Yeah. You just want 100 people a day? Yeah. 10%. That, 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 oh. I did not know that there were that many people eating now. I've got one more place to show David and Suki to really make sure they see there are plenty of businesses doing well in the town. How cool is this place? Oh, this, is, a, this is, is really popular. You know, since my accident, I really haven't gotten around town much. You know, this business is 100 meters from your front door. Thank you. Now, no, I don't. Please, how many covers are you doing a, a day? How many, what's the numbers? Um, about 200 a day. 200 a day. Customers and uh, weekends generally double that. So an average of 200 guests a day, 400 of the weekends, and families as well, early families, evenings? Yeah. A lot of our business revolves around uh, college students. Thank you. The purpose of this outing is to show you how these businesses are drawing from the university, how they are open to every market, and it does translate to the rooms. You have a potential gold mine sat there. You have the traffic. You've got to tap into the community. That's what you're not doing. I'm, I'm convinced that's correct. I thought we were always welcoming students. Maybe we were wrong. So let's say, uh, yes, def definitely an eye opener. Now that I've shown David and Suki how much potential there is in Starkville, I need them to commit to turning the Hotel Chester around. That was nice. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I did too. To see it that busy for lunch was incredible. Well, the business is. Uh... There, so. David, you need to get your head back in the game. That's right. I got some great ideas, but you two have to be ready for change. Gordon, whatever direction you help us to get on, we're not going to waver off of that. <laughs> when I arrived at Starkville, Mississippi's Hotel Chester, it was invisible on the main street. Hotel Chester entrance, well. Such a huge building and such a tiny sign. And failing to appeal to the people who could make it a success, the college students. I'm convinced Suki and David are now ready for change. Whatever direction you help us to get on, we're not going to waver off of that. So now it's time to reveal the new hotel to David and Suki and their team. Oh, my God, look at that. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. It sure as hell don't have to worry about that. Come we on. have a sign. Welcome to the new oh, Hotel man. Chester. You're no longer hidden on the main street. Now, customers, locals, will identify that it is a hotel. Is it big enough for you, David? There it is. I think it's really, really that great. There is the biggest marketing tool you'll ever need. I love it. Ah! Oh, this is so good. Should we have a look inside? Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what Gordon has done with the inside of the hotel. Are you ready? Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, God. God. <laughs> well, jump in. Let's go in, go in, go in. Oh Please, this God. is definitely <laughs> lovely. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Yes, I love it. Gone is the drab and the dullness. Now this room has character. Isn't this beautiful? I'm genuinely thrilled. If I could, I'd do a somersault backwards, and then if Gordon had let me, I'd kiss him. And even if he doesn't, I may drag him in and give him a big old kiss right on the damn lips. <laughs> Megan, nice to see you. that you're happy. I'm very happy. Huh? It's more than I can have hoped for, and it seems to be the beginning of the end of our struggle. Do you think the parents of those 20,000 students yes. in the university will want to stay here now? Yes. All right, would like to see one more room? Yes. 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 Let's go. All right. <laughs> Damn, I love this room. Beautiful. 
I'm in a dream. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, I can't ask more. Suki, this is not a Chang hotel. This is your no, hotel. No, that's like right. Said, something that's to be proud right. of. Oh. That's awesome. I've got something else to show you. This one, you're going to absolutely love. Ready? So excited. Please, I'd like to welcome you all to your stunning beer garden. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh. oh this yeah. is what I call a beer garden. Damn. Oh, yeah. OK. Modern benches. So we have communal benches as well, large parties, uh, families. Additional space up there as well we've taken advantage of. Stunning furniture. That's nice. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. You go into the gazebo, we have the most amazing local beers. Oh. <laughs> Craft beers on tap. Oh, no, and these stunning craft beers that can rotate oh. local beers to sort of promote stuff locally. That's awesome. The beer garden is awesome. I'm going to christen it myself, and somebody's going to have to carry me out of it before we open the doors to the public. There's one more thing I'd like to show you. Please, come with me. Yes, sir. I love this garden out here. Welcome to the new Hotel Chester's stunning beer gardens. Food. This hotel is in a vibrant college town in the heart of Mississippi. So I've created a menu that will attract a younger crowd and highlight southern comfort food. Gone is the fusion confusion. <laughs> Suki, I'm sorry. All gone. Good. Southern food fits the location. How can we be in Starkville and not have stunning fried green tomatoes? Next to that, we have oyster bacon po' boy. Fried crispy oysters, crispy bacon with a stunning spicy remoulade. And Gordon's Burger. He's a chef. Ooh. And he, from time to time, comes up with some stunning recipes for burgers. Uh, this burger recipe um, is featured at Planet Hollywood in Vegas, and it is to die for. The new menu complements the state of Mississippi. I think it really suits the beer garden. Wonderful, wonderful idea. Suki, I have something for you that's going to make your life in the kitchen a whole lot easier. Bear with you. One second, please. Now, I've got someone I'd like to introduce you to. Uh, someone who's very special with two uh, unique assistants. Come through, please. Say hello to Enrica Williams. Now, she'll be Hotel Chester's new head chef. This lady is a very experienced chef, and she absolutely knows her stuff. I'm covering Enrica's salary. I'm taking care of that until this place picks up and you can afford to keep it yourself. You kiss it? <laughs> Having Suki in the kitchen kind of broke my heart every day, so I'm really looking forward to getting to know the chef and her apprentices and giving them all the support I possibly can. Suki, I want you to keep cooking, but I want you to have a bit of fun with it. And here's how it's going to work. Suki's rabata grill, skewers, chicken, beef, shrimp, yeah. with garlic, yeah. ginger, soy, marinade. That's a robata. It's a personal touch. I love it. I love the change. Robata is classic Japanese barbecue. When you think of a robata grill, you think marinated, Japanese style. It's easy to execute. And you know what? It cuts a little bit of slack in the kitchen. It gives the kitchen a bit of time. <laughs> now, all of you, sit down and tuck okay. in. Thank you so much. Please. Thanks, Gordon. That looks so damn good. Doesn't it? With word out to the locals and the college students about the Chester's new vibe, this hotel is ready for business. How are y'all doing? Checking in? Checking in for two under Sanford. As the new younger clientele begin checking in, it's clear the renovated rooms are a hit. This is How awesome. How nice is this? It feels so big and so bright. It's just wow. We need one of these sculptures at home. While the rooms are proven to impress, the renovated beer garden is also creating a buzz with students, parents, and locals. Yeah. We need to get a little taste. Yeah, hey, everybody's going to order something different. <laughs> Fried green tomatoes. Do you want anything from the grill? That's my, uh, my little one. Of everything. What are you drinking, buddy? David seems reinvigorated as an owner and is really getting into it. Let me get your glasses. Just call them out to me. I'm thrilled to death. Just looking out there and seeing people eating good food and drinking good craft beers and conversing is uh, exactly the kind of environment I wanted out there. I need a burger medium, a fish and chips, pulled pork. And without Suki in the kitchen, the new head chef is doing a fantastic job of making wonderful meals and getting them out in a timely manner. That is it for high one. So now we're working high two. Make him sweat, God damn it! There you go. All right, buddy. The biggest thing Gordon has done is giving me a new sense of confidence and an opportunity to have my wife be my wife again. My favorite has been the uh, Gordon's hamburger. I'm not a hamburger eater. 
and it's a fantastic, and it's a money-back guarantee. I'll give you money back if you don't like it. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you. That's the best burger in Starkville, without a close second. It is, it is, so, is this so is the best so of everything. Now that the Hotel Chester is catering to what the locals want, and with Suki and David embracing the changes, I know my job here is almost done. Time to say goodbye. Hey, Gordon. I'm going to miss you both. We're going to miss you too. Look after each other. Embrace these students, their parents, and get this hotel full. When I see you behind that bar serving pints, yes, that sir. for me is you and your element. All right. Take care of yourselves. Yes, sir. Okay? Well done, darling. Seeing you bouncing around out there tonight, happy in front of customers rather than stressed. Good to see you. Take care of yourself. <sighs> wow. I'm sorry, I forgot one little thing. Can you come with me, please? Yeah. One little thing before I go. The relaunch of the Hotel Chester is a huge success. Can you come with me, please? Yeah. Now Suki and David are on their way to making this hotel the talk of the town. Get in the car, please. But before I leave, I have one more surprise for them. Right, there's one more little thing I wanted to show you. Isn't this place beautiful? That gorgeous pool there. Both of you, come in for two seconds. Now, living in that tiny room with no windows is not the way to live. So, this is your new apartment. I rented this for the next six months, and I'm sure when the business kicks off, You'll have sufficient funds to oh, rent this apartment. Oh, I love it. Open plan kitchen, lounge. Have a quick look at the bedrooms through there. Beautiful. This is just what we really needed for Dave and me to get away. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, Dave, this is nice. Oh, this is, this this is, is nice. This is so sweet. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Some time out. That is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again. That's awesome. Um, just damn flabbergasted, actually. Being on site and not having time out of your hotel, you were blind to the potential on your doorstep. It was ridiculous. Thank you. We thought Gordon was just coming here to help us with the business. He ended up being helping us emotionally, our marriage. He very much wanted for us to be together, and that was so lovely. That's pretty damn awesome, no question mm, about it. Really, really nice. Yes. Thank you again. Now, I'm going to hug you, too. <laughs> Take care of you. OK. I'm going to kiss you, too. So <laughs> <laughs> Spend some quality time together. Uh, you deserve it. Good night and good luck. All right, bye, Gordon. Bye-bye now. It's a new start for me, and it's just definitely a new start for Suki. So I'm going to get naked in the pool right now. <laughs> it's so nice to see two people finally happy. Strawberries on fucking sushi. What was she thinking? Since my visit, the Hotel Chester's bookings have gone up. Have y'all stayed with us before? No, this is the first time. And the guests are enjoying the new improvements. It's just not generic, run of the mill. I think, I think this is something special yeah. now. It does feel special. Like it's, it's actually had a touch of care given yeah. to it. With the new menu and beer garden, the hotel has become a local hit with the college kids. I don't know what this is, but enjoy it. Craft beer you had? Uh huh. I mean, it was outstanding. You was know? it? Yes. I mean, the local brewery, Mississippi, plus the you had a mix of everything. Oh. So you had the uh, sampler. Had the, sampler. Sampler. the new buzz around town means the Hotel Chester is now bringing in thousands of guests every weekend. And David and Suki are working as a team again. Next March 8th, was it booked for a reception for about 150 to 200 people. So they want all about 36 rooms for two nights. Gordon has saved us. Our relationship as husband and wife is better. We'll be, we are now partners. I'm gonna give y'all a hug. What Gordon has done for us means everything to us. And I think Gordon's helped to put the hotel on the map. Let's go suck face for a while. Of the time. <laughs>